Hi, I'm Alexis Alexander. I'm your facilitator for this ED2, EDT2 class, Introduction to Moodle. And uh, this video is going to walk you through the basics of what you need to know to get started in the class. And remember, you can always email me if you have more questions. So I'm starting the video at the point where you're already logged in because <clears throat> if you aren't logged in, you aren't you, you can't watch this video, so that's why. All right, makes sense, right? So when you log in, you're going to see the course looks like this, and um, you'll notice there are some blocks on the side, and uh, these blocks take up a lot of room. And if you want to, you can move them over here. So if I just click here on this little dock navigation block button. Um, that moves the navigation button over here. So I'm going to do that with the administration and the navigation menu. You might want to note that the administration menu has the link to your grades. So if, as the class progresses, if you want to see your grades all in one place, um, you can click on this grades link and uh, you'll see your grades and also any feedback you've gotten for assignments there. So if you have any questions about grades, remember you could email me. All right, so uh, this class is about Moodle. Moodle is a what they call a learning management system. That means it's a tool that people can use to teach from online. Millions of people use Moodle. Um, this is actually the Moodle Twitter feed, and um, Moodle is updated quite a bit, but um, the basics usually stay the same. So um, what we're going to be doing in this class is looking at all the basic functions you need to know to use Moodle. So before we get started, I want you to take a look at, at these links here really important to read this book this is a book in Moodle it looks like kind of like a book right like a composition book if you click here start here how to use this course you'll find a link to the syllabus um, talking about the chat cafe which is where you can go to ask questions you're also going to be posting a bio in the chat cafe this week so for example, if I click here, it'll actually take me to the chat cafe, so that's one way to get there. Um, notice up here in Moodle, they have what are called breadcrumb navigation. So uh, this shows me where I am in my course. Right now, I'm right here in the chat cafe. So in the chat cafe, you're going to be clicking on add a new discussion topic, and then you will be putting a subject heading so something like all about me and then you will type your message in this box you can format uh, Moodle so like for example if I wanted to I could change the font size or I could even change the font family and I can put live links into Moodle. If I have an address, a URL, I can put a picture into Moodle, and etc. So um, you can also attach files here. So um, if you, anytime you go to a so anytime you go to an assignment or any place in Moodle where you can attach things, you're going to see this attachment box. If you click here on Add, this takes you to what's called the File Picker. This is how you upload files to Moodle. So you have to make sure that Upload a File is selected, and then you can browse for files. So let's say you had your paper, you had a paper you were turning in. Wherever you store papers on your computer, like if you, if you keep them in the documents folder, for example, or if you keep them in Dropbox, you could select a paper and then you could click on open and then you could upload that paper 
and then that would appear here in this box. So that's how you upload files. If you just wanted to put a picture into the forum, you can do that by using the picture button, which brings up this box, and then you click on find or upload an image. And then here we are right back at the file picker. And I could browse out to wherever I keep pictures on my computer. And then I could just upload a picture. Now, if you're going to add a picture to the forum, you have to put uh, an alt text. So that's something that describes what this is. This happens to be a meme. And then make your pictures no bigger than like 300 by whatever. So notice I only put 300 in here. And since I have this box checked, it keeps the picture in proportion. So now I can insert that picture in there. And uh, now if I wanted to, I could click on post to the forum. And then you have 30 minutes to edit if you post to the forum. So once my uh, picture or my post is there, I can click on it. And there's my post, and here's the attachment with my notes that I, my document. Okay, so that's something hopefully you're going to get comfortable with as you go along in the course. Um, you get some chances to practice doing that. The other thing that, uh, so I'm going to go back to the start here, how you use this course book. So what I want you to do is just work your way through the links in this book. Make sure you read everything here. Um, this book explains to you how the course works. Each week starts with a book that you have to read. And, important to note, at the end of each book is a page that lists the readings and assignments for that week. That's one place you can go to find out what you're supposed to be doing during the week. Course navigation, as I mentioned earlier, um, is just breadcrumbs, so you can always find where you are in the course. And getting this is the actual home page of the course, the link that has the name of the course and the semester. No matter where you are at the course, you could click on that home link and get back to the beginning page and find your way around that way. So here's some uh, a video about how to edit your profile. Since I have this video here, I'm not going to go into that in this orientation video. But make sure to watch this video and um, edit your profile this weekend. Another thing that's very important for this class is that you participate each week in the forum. You have to post three times in each forum. And uh, if you post substantively you will get 25 points. Here's some information about how to post to the forum and what do I mean by this by a substantive post and here is a rubric for your post. So for example timeliness is important in the forum you have to post by Tuesday at midnight for your first post if you want to get full points. Since the forum is a discussion, if you don't participate in a timely manner, you can't get points because then you won't be part of the discussion. So you actually won't be doing a lot of research in this class, um, but uh, you will be looking for resources for your Moodle class. So um, this is a little video about how to submit assignments to Moodle. So, uh, once again, here's the link to your grades. This menu looks a little bit different than the one we're actually using, which looks like this. And uh, the reason it doesn't show grades right now is because I'm not on the home page. So, this, this menu changes depending on where I am. So, right now I'm in the book for, week, for the introduction, and that's why I see print book 
but um, when we go back to the home page I'll show you uh, how it changes so if I go back here and I go to administration see there's the grade link now so this administration menu is really important to you as a student and also as a teacher when you have your own Moodle shell you'll be using the administration menu for all editing so work your way through this here's an orientation you can take that's about general topics in online learning and then we're going to segue into week one the main thing you have to do for week one is request a Moodle shell for me I need to know the name you want to use for your Moodle course you have to have Gmail for this class so I would like you to send me your course request through Gmail and I've given you my Gmail address and then all the work that you're going to do will be in your Moodle shell so you need that to get started so please send me that request right away don't forget I want you to join Moodle.org um, that's a forum where you can ask for help don't forget to post your bio complete your profile and there's a quiz for week one so this is a link to teacher documentation for Moodle you can click on it and go to the website where all the documentation for teachers is organized so at any point if you don't know how to do something you could check out this link and look at the documentation so here's the book for week one week one starts on Monday so once again you're gonna click on this and you're gonna work your way through the book um, there's extra credit forum for those who want to participate this is actually a Moodle handbook that has um, all sorts of info on how to use Moodle so this is actually a PDF file that you can download right here and uh, so that's about it uh, except I do want you to join our class Digo group this is how we're going to be collecting resources for the class Digo is a social bookmarking site which is used by teachers everywhere to bookmark resources. The bookmarks are on the internet, they're not on your computer, so you can access them from everywhere. We're going to create a group for our class that you can use and access ongoing. Okay, so just give yourself time so that you can work your way through this make sure to watch this video on setting up your Moodle it kind of walks you through the process of what you need to do step by step before you get started alright good luck and I'll see you online